Hello Internet Dwellers and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations in Minecraft for funsies. And I guess with the hope of one day of creating a machinima, I am Jeff, your host as always, and welcome back to part two of the Psycho Bates Motel build here in Minecraft. Uh, right off the bat, notice no time lapse in the beginning of this episode because this build is so short, I won't be doing a ton of those time lapses because I do actually want to do most of this on camera. Now, I know from the last time uh, when I was ending or wrapping up last week's, last week's episode, yeah, that's right, uh, <laughs> I forget, um, I did make a comment that we're probably going to be doing, uh, I was going to try to figure out how to do some of the, the, the terraforming and doing some of the build. I decided that on this particular build, I won't actually do the terraform for the motel itself. Now, for the house, uh, that's back, oh, oh, this camera's backwards. Uh, you know, let's just get out of this. All right, so let's just move right into it. So... Where am I at? <laughs> there we go. Uh, so for the house itself, we will be building the mountain. So we will be doing some terraforming for that. However, as I mentioned, uh, the actual set for the motel is slight is on a slight incline. So actually about, about, let's see, it's the first four here. So it's about this one right here. There is a step down, is a full step down. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if I like that drop off like that we'll wait and see uh again that's something that we can always come back to since we still have the magic wand which looks exactly like my axe um we can always shift this up after we finish building this out so today's episode we are going to concentrate on building out at least these two buildings mostly because marion's uh, apartment or marion's room here can be duplicated over and over and over again and i'm not really in huge concern with these being uh, perfectly finished or that being on camera so we'll probably just i'll probably do that off camera and then next time that'll be done so we are going to concentrate on these two builds right here and doing a full decoration so what we're going to do is we are going to start we're going to start off with yes you know what let's just uh let's just do this so let's just move in <laughs> i'm going to say let's just uh about 10 more times hopefully you're okay with that because that's going to happen all right so <laughs> I was just going to say, let's do this. So, all right, let's, let's start working here. So, we're going to change the outside of this. This was just the mock-up uh, textures here. Actually, you know what I should do? Uh, let's see here. Can I... Um... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I can. Sweet! What did I... Excellent. Okay, there we go. So uh, another part of the forge tool. This is what I used to use all the time. This is just to make it a little easier since we already have... No, I want that one. Since we already have this uh, in place, we might as well use this. Uh, no sense of wasting time. All right, so that's just to do that. All right, let's keep going here. So the way that this is uh, designed, there is a window. All right, let's figure this out. All right, let's just start from the front. All right, so there's a two. <laughs> How many more times can Jeff say all right? Probably like six more times, because that's what I do. Uh, we are going to, we need glass. I want, <laughs> let's actually, because there's curtains inside. We are going to fake the interior curtains by just using a slightly different color glass. So, no, 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 no. We're going to do this one here, and then this one. We are not going to be faking the interior windows. <laughs> God, it looked like crap. Um, actually, this one... Yeah, I think we're going to go the extra wide one. And then there's a door here. Uh, let's do this at least. Oh yeah, because we were going to do the three the three wide. Anywho, so... But, no, we're going to do this and this... No, no oh, just building blocks everywhere at this point. Um, so the door... Okay, 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 okay. We have to also do this. I need some wooden slabs. This is the front porch. We're going to do the birch wood because it looks a little more old and worn out. We're going to make this be three blocks in depth here. All right, so that's kind of the front porch because what we need is we need to still be able to do these pillars. So, oops, let's do a fence. Oh, oh my goodness. What do we have for like a dark, I guess the dark oak? So it's going to be a slightly different, we will be, yeah, I don't want to use another brick. So we're going to be using this as well. And then let's just go back here. 
Uh, do it by deal. We're going to use you. Okay. So what we're going to do, because we have this, uh, I don't... I, see, here's the thing I hate. Like, you can get away with a block. And actually, that is now... Now that we have this in place, that is not high enough. Because these windows are actually closer to this. But is this now... Is this too tall of a building if nope, if we go out like this? Yep. Don't don't Oh that looks oh that looks just gigantic, doesn't it? Yeah, that's not practical. Alright, so I'm not gonna be able to do the level of that detail. Uh underneath each one of these buildings is a no, oh, not that. Uh, or sorry, underneath each one of these windows, I should say, there is a grate, like a ventilation grate, which I was just going to use, uh, like an iron gate or something that something like that to do here. Uh, I do, and I realize, yes, we could drop this whole row, you know, down a row. We could do this technically. Where's that? Uh oh, there's that. Here we go. Like we, eh, eh. like we could technically do this. Um, for this whole row and then shift everything down but I know, maybe we do do that and just raise the entire thing up one these are the things you have to think about people otherwise I mean this you know okay let's just keep building let's see what happens I don't want to waste everybody's time so uh, we are actually going to use that and then we are going to throw a door in here we're gonna throw a door in there in a minute so that's our that's our front door our front windows and then all right so let's move on to the side here there's a window there's a higher window there so then what we're gonna do is this is our top row and yeah we will actually we'll make that too yeah, that's fine. And then uh, the way that this is set up, let me look at my plans here. Um, yeah, that window is in the back. So there is a secondary window back a little bit here. We're going to get rid of that and that. Uh, and this window looks more like it's a full blown window. So let's fill. This is what I was starting to do earlier when I decided we should just start at the front. We are already caught up. Um, probably actually here so we'll do one more we're gonna do this now this window looks not as big as the front window so we are just going to do that now this window is only on the side here and it's for basically uh, Norman's place I gotta remember I gotta watch the movie I don't remember there actually being a window back here but I could be wrong uh, I do know obviously there's another window back here that looks out onto the house so um, okay so then there's that and, oh, hey, look, we're on the part where I need to figure out where the other window is that looks out on the back of the house. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, I'm, it seems like every single time I do one of these, I'm horribly rusty each time. And it's only like a week's gap between episodes. All right, let me... Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, the set of the Bates Motel that's there now does not have... Uh, does not have... Oops, where am I going? Here we go. Does not actually have this window back here. They looks like they've since boarded that up, but in the older photographs that I have, it is there. Well, maybe they've added it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, so the window for the back is about. It looks like it's off to the side. Actually, it's turned around here. It's got to be off this side, or no, this side. It is this side. So we are going to put the window. Th there should we do like a is it gonna be like a full window you think hmm. this is kind of creative liberties here um so in the rest of the rooms it's probably gonna be just a two black window so maybe we will just do a two black window that's gonna be that let's just center it yes I like that it's not centered in the rest of them but I don't okay we're not gonna center it just because I don't like the way that it looks. Okay, there we go. So that's the back window. Now, what we're going to do for these is we are going to replace the center wall 
with white stained clay. What this is going to do is this will act as our, um, oh yeah, my painting missing. Uh, this will act as our divider wall as well as the wall in the into the other side. Um, in some builds, and this is where I, I know I even questioned about doing this, um, in some builds what you might do is you might have a center divider wall, but you would actually have this wall be two th blocks thick, so you could have different walls on both sides. Uh, I am just going to do this as a shared wall because that well, that just, that's easier. So. <laughs> Have you guys started counting how many times I complained about the rain? Uh, you should, because uh, I do it all the time. Now I'm actually consciously making an effort not to complain about the rain. Uh, all right, so here is, I'm just gonna delete those, that's easier. So here is this wall, and these might change in color, I don't really know yet, but. Um, so we are going to be, so we are gonna be up a block which means the inside the inside is going to end up being we're gonna we're gonna throw one of these down so yes i do realize there is a step up and over to get inside but again this is the whole it, this it all goes back to the door thing i i hate the fact that in a lot of builds windows are the same height as doors because like this is it's a giant window in the front of this building and it's at this point it's the same size as your door which yes that is that is a thing but to have like a three block high door in order to for it to be proportionate to real life with these windows it just looks weird because yes you could do a door but the door only takes up two blocks and then you have a block for a window yeah you could do a solid block for a window i don't it just i mm, yeah that if that's my biggest complaint about minecraft then I think I'm doing okay. So anyways, we are just going to pull this all the way in to this. So this is the whole inside. Uh, we can, we will, actually I think I'm going to, oh, I'm not going to be able to. They're not going to be able to lay carpet on this, am I? Do, do, float. Yep. Son of a, okay. So there will not be any carpet in, <laughs> in this build. Um, I kind of wish there was like half slab of uh, of of wool. That'd be that'd be excellent. Uh, now I have realized that is in the wrong spot. Now that we've added the floor, eh, eh. so Norman's gonna have to <laughs> Norman's gonna have to just jump a little bit in order to see out the the people. So okay, we have this. Now we have our doopy uh, doopy doo. We are actually going to do this because oh that's right so we're gonna get rid of that and that we are going to make there is a little closet here like basically a coat rack um yeah that's too far so that's gonna be the the coat rack <laughs> the quote unquote coat rack we're gonna get rid of this one then that's one block too deep fill back in what i got rid of and then in here um Maybe we make these different colors then. Uh, just to kind of fill it in, because we're not going to be able to actually put much in here. Uh, what, what, what can we do? Can we do? Can we do a gate? Can we do it? No, not a gate. Uh, trapdoor. Trapdoor. Uh, ooh, trapdoor. Iron trapdoor. What is this going to do? Hoi! Ooh, yes, that, that. I like that. So pretend this is a. Uh, yeah, pretend that's just like a, a coat hanger. That I just destroyed. Okay. So, not a coat hanger, sorry. This is the rack the coats would hang down. You understood what I said. I did not need to clarify myself at all. Okay, what we're going to do now is this is the front desk, which we will do in a darker material. And then on top of it, what do we have for slabs? Oh, we have a red sandstone slab. Okay, why not? Let's see what this looks like. So this is the front, this is the front desk. Uh, oops. Oh, that's, oh, that's not, oh no, 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 perfect. Oh, I love that. I, this color scheme in here is ridiculous. See, okay, so this is what I was talking about. In a lot of builds, if you guys don't know this, you might. And if you do, don't worry, just ignore me for the next like two minutes. Um, for those of you who don't, when you build in Minecraft, you know, each, each color is a block wide. So normally your outside wall ends up becoming 
also your inside wall, unless you design the building to be double thickness. Now you can do that by all means, like, and we could even technically do that right now and fill this all in. So now it is all white inside, but look how thick your building becomes. You have to build your interiors and your entire building almost, almost twice the width. Um, certain situations where this doesn't occur is much like I did here for this inner wall. I'm faking it, but our outer walls are going to be that color. How can you get around these two different color walls? Well, then you just build everything with the same color, but that looks boring because normally your outside walls are not the same as your inside walls. Also, other little things that I do not like doing that I just noticed, and that's probably the reason why I was going to make this where it is. I don't like like this situation on the outside. This looks fine, that looks exactly correct. On the inside, uh, normally windows don't butt up against to a 90 degree angle like this. You, you don't normally have a window that goes all the way to a wall. You're gonna have usually some sort of dividing piece like about right here to just, you know, cause that's, that's more normal, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but on the outside, it looks really thick and I don't like that. So this is one of those few times where I'm actually going to break my own design aesthetic just because I think that looks better like so. Sorry, so we walk in here, here's our front counter. Yes, yes, yes. Um, which actually, we're gonna make this come out one more like that. Oh, it's not gonna let me, is it? Nope, nope. Shazbot. <laughs> Worst gate ever. All right, so we're not gonna be able to do that. There's a, actually a swigging gate here that divides it off, but that curve counter is good enough. It doesn't actually curve. Um, this counter is actually one block out too far. So we are just going to do this. We're just going to move that to the back. That's better because you would have more space in here for the guests in front for the guests to come in um, there is actually looks like there's a chair here maybe like a potted plant or something like that so we can put that on there uh, oh yes we can do we can do uh, this wait where's it at is this is this what it's called yes it is excellent uh, oh because it's a slab sons can I not put this on can you not put this on a slab are you serious that is stupid, Minecraft. I wanted to put a flower pot there. Eh. All right, fine. We're not gonna put a flower pot there. I'll figure out somewhere else to put it. Okay, so we have this. Um, let's take care of the decoration behind it. What is that? Is that paper? Oh, that is paper. So we're gonna put, eh. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe we move over one. Oh, why is there not three blocks wide? All right, all right, eh, and eh. <laughs> Looks like a penis. Okay, so, so we're just gonna. <laughs> all right, good enough. I don't care. So that's gonna be that. I don't like that at all. Nope. I'm just gonna do one. Yep. There you go. Norma's got a picture of a lemon. A lime. All right, and back into here. Um. I guess actually first, let's do this. So we're gonna make stairs very classic, very, very classic, very cliche way, which we are just going to use, we'll use this. And then we will use the picture frames for the sides. Now, this is not gonna go down, is it? Ah, of course not, it's gonna float in the middle air. So, and that looks stupid too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Just gonna get rid of that entirely. Okay, so maybe there's not gonna be much interior decorating in here because we are building this on slabs. Uh, so maybe this will, just so we can do everything, maybe this will have to be raised up one more. All right. All right, you you win. Everybody wins here. We have to move this whole thing up by one block. And we're gonna replace the half slab floors. Oh, that's so high up though. Ugh. 
All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I basically just completely and utterly screwed up, and I just kept making things worse. Uh, so yes, we are in fact going to be having this half slab. All the floors are gonna be half slab. This is not gonna be a perfect build, and truthfully, I realize with the interior decorating, it doesn't really matter that much. So what we're gonna do now is yes, we're not gonna be able to put any kind of real seating back here or real decorations. I. Uh, I actually do not care that much. I know we were going to be kind of decorating this a little bit more than uh, uh, than uh, uh, than we are going to be doing. Um, frankly, I don't really know what we're going to end up doing uh, interior-wise back here. I'm going to have to have some time to think about what we are doing. Um, in the meantime, so we just don't waste the rest of this episode, I am going to finish building this out uh, as we had initially intended, and then when I'm off-air... Uh, off air because I'm a radio DJ. That's not at all true. Uh, I will, <laughs> I will, I'll figure out what we're gonna do for the interior decorating now. All right. So actually, I originally said it was four. It looks more like it's every two. So the way we're gonna do this is this. Where is? Let's do my shovel back again. We're just going to do this, and then we're just going to finish this off a little bit right here, uh, so this will be good enough. Okay, so let's move on with the rest of this build here, so we don't continue wasting everybody's time. Too late, I'm well aware. So, this is going to be a very similar uh, structure on this side as we had already established in the front desk area. Hmm. Why do you have a weird light going on? Huh? Oh, I see we're not full. And I'm sorry, I just had a bug attack me. Uh, there we go, that got rid of the weird lights. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same stuff here. The front windows now on there. Oh, I did build that like that, didn't I? All right, so, yep, we're just gonna do this and do this. Now, door, front door, step up and step in, down. So we're hitting the exact same issue on this one, obviously, as we had on the front office. So let me finish building this out for now. And I'll carve out the window in a second here, but we'll get the walls up at least. It's tough. It, 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 you know, it sounds like, uh, it's almost like we're having a little bit harder time. A simpler build, and it turns out that it's giving me more trouble than the entire clock tower build that we had just done. Um, there was difficulties, though, with that build. It wasn't as simple as I may or may not have made it look. Uh, but it's, well, no, 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 not that it matters, but... OCD there um, but yeah this is this really should be a simple build and it, it all kind of comes just down to once we get into this and start messing with things that things start popping up that I did not anticipate much like you know when we were laying out where the bed is gonna be and where all the stuff's gonna be this is great when it's all gonna be on the ground floor and yes what I started doing there was I started shifting everything back down so it's not on this half slab because that would fix a lot of our issues because then instead of having this step up and things can't be you know not made, not necessarily being able to be built on it it gets rid of it and it makes this nice uh nice like smooth transition in and then here's your floor and everything's built on it um what we are what i might do now because i like i like that little bit of a ramp so yeah so basically it comes down to we're gonna end up having kind of a goofy entrance and here's another option that we can do this is what we can do we could always add i know this is not exactly what is in each of these builds or in the actual re or in the real one but we could add a step up and then we could add basically the equivalency of that on the other side like this and then put no because that's just going to give us this that's just going to give us the slab that's not what i want to do I started saying something completely, or oh, right here, basically like this right now, and then we can regain everything on the ground floor. That way we don't have any of those weird, goofy issues. Then we'd be able to do the uh, the carpeting that I wanted to do um, and all sorts of stuff. So maybe, maybe let's see here. Let's see how well this works. Uh, da, da, da. And then, oh my 
goodness. This whole episode is just like a... This, this whole episode is being a pain to me. It just wants to be as difficult as humanly possible. Uh, there we go. So, let's see here. The worst that can happen is this doesn't work well enough, but maybe it will work. So, by doing this, now what we're doing is we're, we're going back down to the, to the main uh, floor. And actually, I would do this as the same... Yeah, same color. Uh, well, what this will allow us to do is now it allows us to put carpet on the floor as well. Uh, so that way it doesn't have to be all the hardwood floor because I believe in the real movie it is carpet. I don't think it's hardwood floor. Um, we're going to finish this up, this up like that. All right. So then what this does is it does give us that little bit of a depth. It kind of gets us back to how like it still looks correct on the, uh, on the inside. It does look correct on the outside. I suppose I don't need that. We can just do the single step up and just deal with it. Yeah, because that's going to look better on the inside, outside. And then this is correct on the outside. All right, fine. That is what we're going to do. Um, I'll probably change it before the next episode. Shh. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we're just going to we're going to finish off these walls here, and then I'm going to spend. I think I'm going to spend the rest of uh, next or the start of next week's episode just kind of finishing off the interior decorating here for these. Uh, we will actually build the roof real quick too over there. Or perhaps I'll do that off camera. I haven't decided yet. Uh, inside here. All right. So what we have, let us use some of these. We're going to use the polished ones because those will give us a nice little line like that. So this is just the tile floor in the bathroom. Good enough. Like that. I also just realized that is the world's tiniest bathtub. Uh, stairs. Let's do a quart stairs. Because this stuff I know we can do here. So. Eh. Eh. And then, eh. Voila! <laughs> world's tiniest flipping bathtub. Alright, we're going to actually just bring this out like this. Like you. You, oh, that's going to ruin where the toilet goes. I oh, guess the toilet's going in here. It's going right there instead. So then we're going to come all the way out like so. And then we are going to replace this bottom part with the block of quartz as well. So then there's that. And we're going to do a normal trip wire here. Yep. Actually, you know, that could be that. Uh, you know what I want to do? We're actually going to make this up one more. Like that. That's that. That's the faucet. And then we're going to do a switch. Or, sorry. Uh, um. Hmm. Where'd that go? I'm spacing on the name of it. I swear I play this game. Um... Oh, don't die. Lever. Ugh. God, I'm like, why is this switch? That's not right. Boom. There you go. Shower head. So, uh, faucet handle and then shower head. So, do do do. Showering and, ah, a killer. That the doorways lower. This whole thing needs to be moved down. One. So, up and over. Yep. Nope. It's just going to have to be lower, so we're at least semi in the right plane. Okay. I've wasted so much time with this. All right. So, what we're going to do is... Oops. There we go. And upside down stair. There we go. And then we're going to grab the carpet. We'll do a gray carpet. So, that's a toilet seat. So, that's the toilet. It's a giant freaking bathtub, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know I already did this. Don't don't yell at me. Yeah, we just we need the space. It's too it's too cramped in here. And this and then this. So toilet and then we will do a hopper for the sink with that as the faucet. Excellent. All right, bathroom. <laughs> yep, that's the bathroom. All right, and then our bed goes there, and then what this is, this is going to be our little closet area. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the other one. 
in uh, Norman's room, so uh, rack here, maybe spots to put stuff up above. And then we have a window that's gonna go there. That's gonna allow us to look out into the future house, which will be back up there. Hopefully if we line this up correctly. Uh, so actually, nope, we are gonna move that back down because this is more correct now that we've flip-flopped all that stuff around. So now by doing this, um, we can actually do this for chairs and go back to my picture frame or my, uh, my, my original concept here. So we're just gonna do this here, boom and boom. And we will do another one over here, like so. Like that, a couple of chairs, couple you know, this probably should actually be moved over, shouldn't it? We'll put it here, which just makes it all the more creepier because it's like you'd be sitting right behind it. Um, and we'll put a, we'll, we'll get a painting going across this. Oh, nope, 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 picture. Nope, 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 nope. I'll do that later. Okay. Um, so we have the bed here. I don't like the cramped space there. So we are, and I know I, I, know I messed with this before, but we are going to move this over one more block here. So the bed's actually going to be over here. And the way we do this is going to be... Let's... I have, this should not melt. Oh, nope, you know what? Nope, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do red wool. We'll do, we'll do some white wool, standard wool. And then we're gonna do carpets. Uh, yep, yeah, this should work. So then what we're gonna do so the bed is uh, basically going to be a full-size bed. Put the white one there, and then we're just going to put the carpet on top of it. So that'll double, and a little bit of, uh, like, the pillows, technically. And I know what we could do, you could actually do snow. If you want, snow works really, really well uh, for this type of a situation, where if you want to kind of build up a little bit, you can. Uh, you just have to make sure that wherever you're building in uh, does not have like any heat anywhere near this or, or anything along those lines. Otherwise it's going to melt. Uh, we are going to take some liberties here. I'm putting, which it does actually have. So we're just gonna put those on both sides. Uh, brewing stands work really, really well as lights. So there you go. Actually glowstones could go on top of it. Oh, I have that underwater one. Nope, just gonna do glowstones. Glowstones work really well. <laughs> um, there, now I got ridiculous amount of light. Not gonna do that on top. All right, and on this side, we are just going to fill this in. And yes, I'm gonna go back through and gonna do all the carpet on this in just a minute. Uh, we're gonna do upside down stairs. So this is like a, like a front desk with that. Oops. Slabs. Let's we're gonna do a darker one just so it kind of breaks up the monotony here. And gonna do an upside down one there. Upside down one there. And then boom. So front desk. And now now these, because we have uh we have it set up in a way, or now that we're actually using the, the full slabs, or these are being used correctly, that you can do this. Can I not put that in there? I have to do one of the other flowers. Uh, we do decoration blocks. Tulips. Tulip. Tulip. Decoration. Okay. And then, let's see here. There's actually a, there's a chair here. So we are going to just use the same material and the same technique we used on the front there. So there's the front chair. And this is also a desk. So instead of the slab, I'm going to use the full stair there just enough just so there's not a not a back there and then I'm gonna just do you like that and put that in carefully underneath just like this there we go and then chair and then here there is another 
like a little yeah there's like a little so we're just gonna do uh we'll do we'll do a light one for this one and then what do i have for carpet just to throw something on top of that let's use the brown carpet for that and we are going to go ugly we're gonna go like 70s ugly green for this room because uh yeah basically because i can <laughs> so <laughs> uh this is why marion escapes or was going to escape because this room is just ugly carpet ugly green now what we're gonna do is oops i don't know come back uh for underneath these things we are just going to use the green wool uh yeah I know there's a slight drop in the thickness because carpet is a tiny bit thicker, but this will just kind of, you're not going to notice it because it is hidden back there. It's just so that way it does look like the entire apartment or entire uh, hotel room is covered in the same green carpet. Now inside the closet, um, nope, I'm just going to do it all. I was going to do it differently, but not, not going to. So I'm just going to fill all this green in just like this and my laundry's done that is so professional oh my goodness you probably didn't even hear it and i just shouted that for no reason but my laundry's done now so uh aren't you all glad you know that all right so here is the apart here's the here's the hotel room uh actually that came out pretty <laughs> this came out a hell of a lot easier than this one so what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna go back for the the main room here and we are gonna lower the flooring down so we have the same structure so we have that slight step down and into it just so we can go back and build some of the stuff on here that that we uh that i wanted to build uh just just makes life a little easier i guess to do it that way and i probably should have figured that out before i came on the episode but uh yeah, didn't. And uh, y'all had to be on my little adventure, which was fantastic, wasn't it? You, you don't lie. No, you stop lying to yourself. This was a lot of fun. Uh, and you know, here's the thing. I wasn't coming into these, this series saying I'm an expert at this, and I was well aware there was going to be a lot of like little things like that that's going to come up, stuff like that's going to happen, and I am glad that it came up on here because you might find yourself facing a similar situation. And, well, now you will know that, uh, you know, maybe how to get yourself through something very, very similar uh, if you ever to come across it in your Minecraft builds. Speaking of which, if you guys out there are maybe following along or trying to recreate these yourselves, I would love, any of us would love to see your creations. Uh, we'd love to see what you did, how you did differently, how you, how, how you did differently. Jeff would also like to learn how to speak English. Um, how you did it differently. It'd be great to see some of your builds because, you know, maybe we can all learn from each other. I'm hoping maybe there's some little thing in here that maybe you've learned. And uh, in the same vein, I would love to learn back from you. Also, if anybody out there knows how to, if there's a mod that you can find, trust me, I've looked, uh, to disable the rain, I, I would really like that because it's just kind of getting tiring having to constantly do the toggle downfall. Uh, that'd be great. Anyways, so almost done here. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, I will not do the roof this episode. We will take care of the roof possibly in the next episode or in a, uh, uh, in a time lapse in the beginning of next week's episode. See, this is what I was going to do earlier. There we go. See, yeah, I, I should have just done it like this in the first place. And then on top of here, uh, we were going to, because I liked that color coordination, actually. I liked this. Just kind of felt different. And then on the inside, we might actually, I think I'm going to leave the hardwood floors for the inside. And then this is going to go, this is going to go down a row, too. So don't, uh, here, let's just, okay, we're going to finish up with this, and then we will wrap up the episode. So yes, next time we will uh, we'll dedicate to getting the roof on the building and then duplicate out Marion's apartment to the rest of the uh, the other ones uh, down the line there because it's hers is pretty much finished and uh, any other additional detail I might add, I'll add it in the time lapse and then obviously go over it like we did last time uh, for the Back to the Future build. So... We'll just finish off this flooring. And yeah, like I said, now this allows us to get the chairs in here. This allows us to put a little more work, uh, a little more just kind of detail. And plus, then that hole works that you can see straight into the apartment. Um, 
next door. Oh, you know what we could just do? Why don't I just do this? Yes. Perfect. Pretend that is a white wall <laughs> in this apartment and that you can't just see straight through because that's, that's, that's weird. That's very weird. Um, real quick, because this just popped in my head. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 that's exciting. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, that's close enough to curtains. Okay, anyways, guys, with that, we are going to stop here for this week's episode. Uh, we will be taking care of, like I said, the roof for... Hold on, everybody, I'm upside down. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so next week, we will take care of the roof on these buildings. We're going to duplicate out Marion's apartment, so that way it is... Uh, or, sorry, room, so that way the rest of those going down the line and then wrapping around there are identical. We don't need to do that. We will take care of that on the time lapse, trust me. And then after that, we should hopefully hopefully be able to maybe start tackling some of the landscaping and then work on the old big house back there. Not that way. That way. All right, everybody. And with that, I am Jeff. And thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments in the description. Not in the description. You don't have access to it. Leave your comments below the video. And I will see you guys next week for more Bit by Block. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.